Hey guys, got a new one in the mail today. Um, this, uh, actually, this is the reason that I started my channel, guys, back in the day. Um, when I first started doing these reviews, I first fell in love with a local church Bible publishers. Um, I had never seen a Bible with ribs. And I was watching videos and seeing that, and I was like, man, that is really cool. And... And found out who they were and how inexpensive the Bibles were, and it just went from there. Um, my whole purpose was to find high quality Bibles for a great low cost for people, you know, something that is going to last them a long time and not fall apart, you know, and end up having to buy a Bible every year because your pages start falling out. And when you use your Bible a lot, that's what happens to them. Um, you have to really take care of them, but. This is this Bible here is why I've I've always loved doing Bible reviews. This Bible is probably one of the most surprising Bibles that I've had in such a long time. Um, I'll read off the list of what it has in there before I jump inside. Um, it's got it's a two column format. It's got let's see, easy to read, ten point five font. End of paragraph cross references, topical subheads, topical concordance, God's plan of salvation, um, where to turn, index topics, HCSB's bullets, bullet notes, um, explaining the frequently used uh, biblical words and terms, titles of Jesus index, Masonic scriptures that Jesus fulfilled, table of weights and measures, eight full colored maps, words of Jesus in red, full color presentation page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And ribbon marker, gold edges. It's 8.25 inches um, um, tall. We got 5.7 in 5 inches, um, almost 6 inches wide, and then 1.25 inches thick. And it isn't a genuine cowhide. And th this cowhide feels a lot like um, the TBS Westminster Bible and the oh, what's the other one I was thinking of the the genuine leather on the NASB it feels a lot like that this the CSR or the SCR um, Lockman so if you're familiar with those Bibles that's how this is gonna feel <clears throat> it has a really um, tiny grain texture it's super soft you can see how it fits over the book block right there you got um, six hubs and twos, and the, the spine is just excellent. Love this little Bible, guys. Totally love this Bible. This is one of my highest recommended recommendations of a of a low cost Bible, and it doesn't even you know. To me, it's pretty much a premium Bible. You, you don't get the the guild like you do on you know nicer Bibles. It's nice, but it, it could be better. But for what you're paying right now, this is $19.99, guys. So remember that. The uh, box is really nice. Nice, solid, tough box. I like the color of this one. And there's an example of the text. It's a 10.5. And here's the regular price. You're looking at $59.99 when these came out. They were $60. Um, they dropped to like $50, then $40. And then now this thing is at $19.99. You can't beat that, guys. It's just a wonderful Bible. You get a small but nice ribbon. And it's placed well there in the center, so that's nice and even. Let me set some aside here. Some room. And it did, which is really neat. It came wrapped up in black paper, like your typical premiums from Skyler and other companies like R.L. Allen, stuff like that. It's kind of nice to have your Bible wrapped up. And it is just super floppy, out of the box. Let me get focused here. Sorry about that. And out of the box, I mean, it's just laid flat. Just took a minute to kind of work it in. You get little wrinkles here because it's such a soft leather. And they don't put a little, uh, they put a thin cardstock in there. So most of this is all leather weight. And it's a very nice piece of leather. It's even all the way around. It has a little line right here from the paper 
that was in the box and it's slowly gone away. It was a lot worse when I pulled it out. The paper kind of imprinted. That's how soft this leather is. <clears throat> so just give it some time and uh, it should straighten out for you. But, um, let's open her up here and show you guys something that I'm just loving about this Bible. Okay, you got one simple um, presentation page and <clears throat> sorry about my voice guys, it's gonna fade in and out. Um, this is a 2014 print, as far as I can tell from the bottom number there. And then here is your ISBN numbers. So if you're wanting to get this one, it's the second from the bottom there, genuine cowhide. And then it has an index one. It's a perfect hand-sized Bible, guys. I love this Bible. I want to show you the construction of this thing is just amazing. I'm very, very happy with the build of this Bible and would love to see other publishers uh, follow along because this thing is just cool. You got your title page, and then once you get into Genesis right here, as you can see, it has overcasting, and then you got the other stitches that are in the middle there, the Smithsonian binding, with overcasting, and this thing lays flat right when you get it, guys. And look at that. It's beautiful. It, it just, the curves of this Bible, the setting of the, the text, the size of the print, this is a Bible you guys got to get. If you want an HCSB and you don't have one, I highly recommend getting this one. It does have a little bit of ghosting, but um, it doesn't affect the reading for me at all. So I'll try to get a good zoom in here of how the text looks. But this thing is just opens up so nice, nice and flat. Beautiful, beautiful text. It reminds me of a Cambridge calfskin cameo. It's a lot like that Bible. If it had art gilding, it would look kind of like that Bible. Um, I mean, just out of box, it's like a premium. You know, yeah, you're, the paper's nice. It's a flat paper. It's not highly glossy. Um, and you get ghosting. But the price range, guys, you can't beat this. This is just an awesome Bible. You get the after um, the verse uh, references. And then you get uh, manuscript uh, and different readings at the bottom, different translations. <clears throat> As you can see, it is a red letter, so I'll get there here in a bit, show you guys the red letter. This is focused here. Um, I like the 10-point font. It's a good size font. Let's jump over here to Psalms. So here's what your Psalms is going to look like. And um, I'm really starting to like this the CSB. Um, I like the HCSB label um, text. I, I really like the text which they're getting rid of. So uh, I'm kind of bummed on that. Call me one of the weirdos. A lot of people didn't like the HCSB um, layout. Well, not a lot of people. I would just say that within certain groups, there was a really uh, you know negative thing about this Bible that people always spoke about and that was these uh, separations where the Lord will um, speak about um, old text, scripture, prophecy, things like that. And they did it in a darker red, which I really like that. I, I think it's kind of cool and it, it helps me with my visualization when studying and digging through the Bible. And uh, there's other places where it does black like that. And I've shown that in other videos with my Holman um, red uh, genuine leather that I got not too long ago. It's the same exact layout, just bigger print and uh, darker, more bold style font instead of that thin stuff. So this has actually got more of a thicker font to it, so it gives it a boldness. Um, the red is really nice. It's not, you know, spectacular, but it's legible. This and, uh, you yeah, know, the ghosting, it's not so bad. It's livable. I can do that. Really, really like it. Let's see here. There's more of the black. Ignore my dog. She's drinking water back here. They always seem to do that every time I go to make a video. All right. 
What's neat about this one um, is it has some different stuff in the back, the stuff that I uh, read at the beginning to you guys. It's different than my other um, HCSBs that I have. Um, it has just a lot of really neat article things, like bullet points. Um, Christ in Red goes into Revelations. So if you guys want to know that. And this paper's a little bit tricky to flip through. Um, I really like the NASB review that I did not just the other day, and it um, was easy to flip through the pages. This one's a little bit more difficult to get these pages flipped because of the fill of the paper. But here's your bullet point or bullet notes and bullet points. Um, tables, weights, and measures. Where to turn in the Bible. So any question that you're going to have, well, not any question, but some of those basic questions that people might have that are just uh, new to the Lord and just got saved, stuff like that. But it'll even help us regular folks that have been saved for a while. It's a nice little thing to have, especially when you're ministering to somebody, you know. It's a, it's a really cool Bible. And it's just got some different stuff back there, and then it has this topical concordance that is not very big. It's just a simple concordance um, just on topics, uh, popular topics. I'll show you here. You have their maps, and then it's really neat. Let me switch my hand here. Is that stitching? And there's that overcast stitching I'm talking about. And what that's going to do is it holds those front pages on because it goes through there. It attaches to the paper that they glued right there. Kind of like a, a lined Bible, leather lined Bible. It uh, has just a little bit of a part of it glued. And then that overcasting keeps it snug to this beginning part. So when it wants to pull right here, it's not going to pull away as easy as some of the other paste offs that are out there on the market. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful Bible, guys. I highly recommend getting this one. Um, that's just awesome. You know, you got your spine hubs. $19.99, guys. That's just crazy. Such an awesome deal. Here's the red one. Um, that's in my past review that I did not too long ago. Um, I'll show you the red. Jesus in red in this one. And the print is a more... Uh, Thin kind of font compared to this. So let's show you here. So I think the boldness it just really pops off the page at you know, more than the thinner, thinner print. So I really like that I found this one. Just gave it a go and yeah, that's beautiful. Very, very awesome Bible. So Anyways, guys, um, I'll be shooting another video here. Um, let this one load overnight so it'll be there for you guys when you get up tomorrow. And then there'll be some other reviews throughout the day. And then Friday I have a package coming from a really good friend that I met online. Um, he got, contacted me a while ago. And um, he's sending me a gift. It's a surprise. So, I well, there's one I know that's coming. And then... Um, something else that he's going to surprise me with. So it's got me just really uh, doing that Bible Bible junkie thing, waiting for the mailman, guys. It's killing me. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Anyways, guys, I love you all, and uh, stay tuned. More videos coming up. God bless.